Since the introduction of the Gobi Camera Color Sense technology over five years ago, the Gobi DreamView Light Kits, formerly known as the Immersion, has continued to get faster, more reliable, and more accurate with each new model release. But in spite of these advancements and the increased adoption in the smart lighting space, there's always been a subset of the community and critics curious about the possibility of an HDMI color tracking system that could improve on performance even further with better accuracy, speed, reliability, while simultaneously eliminating the need for an external camera. Well, with the introduction of the Gobi AI Gaming Syncbox, that possibility is finally realized. But this new Syncbox has ambitions to push dynamic interactive lighting into an entirely new territory with the addition of the AI Learning chipset. For this video, we'll do a deep dive on the new Gobi HDMI Syncbox. We'll take a closer look at the AI tech behind it to better understand what it is and what it's capable of. We'll cover off on specifications, limitations, and key features, as well as HDMI color matching performance in general for not only PC and console gaming, but for TV shows and movie streaming as well. We'll also see how it performs with DreamView surround lighting using a handful of new Gobi products, including the new RGBIC wraparound desk light. <laughs> The new Gobi HDMI sync box is confirmed to be HDCP compatible, meaning that we shouldn't run into any DRM protection issues with any streaming content. Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, no issues there. It's also compatible with Dolby Vision, CEC, ARC, and HDR. And it supports three primary resolutions and refresh rate combinations, 4K at 60Hz, 2K at 144Hz, and 1080p at 240Hz which caught me by surprise because no other sync box on the market can currently support this. Now you'll notice that 4K at 120 hertz was omitted, and that's because the ports are unfortunately using HDMI 2.0 tech. But we're gonna talk more on this in a little bit and what the future could hold as we push forward towards 2024. In addition to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the device supports Alexa, Google Home Assistant, and IFTTT. The AI box itself features four HDMI ports, three in and one out, and it's designed to accommodate monitors between 27 and 34 inches. But I do want to point out that I'm using a 49 inch super ultra wide monitor that has a native aspect ratio of 32 by nine. And with the combination of the four section light strip and 16 inch light bars, coverage still turned out very, very well. Now I can't speak a whole lot on this at the moment, but just to get out in front of some questions, yes, an HDMI sync box kit designed specifically for TVs 55 and 65 and 75 to 85 is currently in the works. Stick around and we'll talk more on this as well. The kit ships inside of a sleek rectangular box with a really nice midnight color scheme and graphics that give it a premium feel. And it encompasses virtually everything you need to get up and running. This all-inclusive kit retails for $299. At a glance, here's what's included inside. We have the Gobi service card, user manual, and quick start guide, mounting clips for additional corner support if needed, a mini screwdriver and screws used to affix the light bars to the tabletop stands, power brick, two high quality braided 4K HDMI cables, the high B density light strip, very similar to the one that ships with the T2, the 16 inch aluminum finish RGBIC light bars, and finally, the heart and soul of the kit, the HDMI sync box itself. It has a slim rectangular build with precise squared off edges and a predominant matte finish with the exception of the front face, which has a more glossy texture, as well as the RGBIC ring, which we'll discuss in more details during the features. Again, there are four HDMI ports on the very back, three in and one out, as well as two USB-C ports, one for the light strip and one for the light bars. If you're in any way familiar with installing a backlight on the back of a monitor or a TV, installation for the light strip itself should be a breeze. You have four sections separated by a short bendable wire for each corner. Next, you'll attach the base onto each light bar using the provided screws and then place on each side of the display. Now, if your display is mounted to the wall, you can even use a high-speed USB-C extension cable so that you can feed the wires through your wall or down a raceway, as I did. Originally, I was actually planning on hiding the box, but after seeing how well the ring light mimics the light strip in the bars, I decided to keep the box front and center. I think Gobi did a bank-up job with this design, making the sync box itself feel a part of the immersion experience. 
Anyway, for the two provided HDMI cables, you'll want to use those for your source devices. So a PC or a Nintendo Switch, for example, you'll plug one end into the device and the other end into one of the three HDMI in ports. As for the HDMI out port, you'll want to use your own high quality cable that supports 4K 60Hz at minimum to pass the signal from the sync box through to your display. Having the sync box at arm's length also means that you can quickly toggle in between the three ports without accessing the Gobi Home app. In the interest of timing, I won't run through the app installation process itself, but the app walks you through it step by step, and there are official setup guides over on Gobi. The first feature that I want to get into is the Gobi Syncbox AI because this technology is an industry first and a key highlight that separates the Gobi Syncbox from other HDMI boxes already out on the market. Now the marketing around this tech is a little hazy, so I'm going to do my best to summarize the AI technology and how it works. You can think of the AI as an additional interactive layer on top of traditional HDMI signal pass-through technology. So it doesn't function independently of color sync tech Rather, it's designed to enhance it, while traditional HDMI sync boxes simply process color information to in turn tell the light source which colors, patterns, and behaviors to use. The Gobi sync box houses a dedicated AI chip, which allows it to administer a process that Gobi refers to as algorithmic learning. This means that instead of seeing any and all content as one and the same, the AI is capable of recognizing in-game actions for specific content to provide users with an enhanced, unique color syncing experience. Take this clip from Apex Legend, for example. Rather than simply matching the environmental colors to the backlight and light bars, the AI recognizes that your character is administering a health pack. And as a result, the lights momentarily shift red from corner to corner, signifying damage. But as your character's health is restored, the lights gradually shift green, emerging on the left side of the screen and slowly fading across the entire entertainment center until the health pack is fully used. Let's take a look at that one more time. Here's another effect as your partner is being revived. And more interactive lighting as you skydive with your crew from a launch point. In these kind of scenarios, the AI technology creates an environment where the lights don't just enhance the experience, they become a part of it. When I think about the possibilities that something like this could unlock in the future, I get excited. Gobi confirms that a full host of in-game actions has already been learned by the AI and that by April at the latest, users can customize these effects to tailor their experience. But the catch is that this AI tech is still very green and therefore can only support these extra interactive effects for the following game titles, League of Legends, Apex, Valorant, and Overwatch. However, I'm told that by the end of the year, the game library will expand to as many as 15 game titles. While unspecified, I'm really hoping that Cyberpunk 2077 is a title that's among them, but we'll see. Switching gears over to the HDMI color matching feature. After over five years of only offering the camera color tracking kits, the AI Syncbox is Gobi's first entry product into the HDMI color matching space. Now I've been using the new box for syncing colors for various types of content and across a good deal of varying video source devices for weeks. And I'm happy to say that it appears to be a high quality piece of tech. Now my screen resolution is slightly below 4K. It's 5120 by 1440p, so I did temporarily dock the sync box to my 4K 120Hz TV to double check on some compatibility areas. The box is indeed HDMI 2.0, which means that 4K 120 is unfortunately unsupported. However, dropping resolution to 2K yields 144Hz, and at a 1080p resolution, you can hit a ridiculous 240Hz, assuming your PC and display can handle it. In my case, given my display limitations, for games like Bright Memory, I was able to hit 120 at 1080p on my TV while pushing the signal through the sync box, and it performed surprisingly well. But the biggest takeaway, if you're coming from one of Gobi's camera TV light kits, is that accuracy and latency is exponentially improved, and the color syncing experience is 100% unaffected by other external light sources inside your room. There's also additional fine tune adjustment layers for tailored accuracy. You can make yellow, indigo, and purple tint display optimizations on the fly in addition to saturation and sensitivity. For smoother transitions, I definitely recommend bringing down sensitivity to roughly 15 to 20%. Inside the video color match setting, there are four primary video syncing options, solid same, solid varied, whole bar, and bar segment. Another benefit of coming from the camera kit to the box is that that improvement in accuracy and latency 
is immediately inherited by each and every separately sold Gobi Light product that you group with the sync box inside the DreamView Sync Center. And you can now add a total of 10 devices versus five for the Gobi T1 and T2 camera backlight kits. You can see that I added two sets of the Gobi Y wall lights above my monitor. And I also added the Gobi M1 light strip up top inside a diffuser. But my absolute favorite new product to use right now in DreamView is the RGBIC Neon Rope Desk Light. This new rope light is specifically designed to wrap around the border of your desk or tabletop. The new diffuser housing uses an optical inverse light emission for more uniform surface and glare reductions. This time around, the rope light can even be cut to get the best fit, and it's going to be offered in various lengths. This is the 3 meter or 9.8 foot version that I'm currently using. I'm also told that a 5 meter version will hit the market sometime around Q3. Demo. It took more than a good while for Gobi to release an HDMI sync box, but the upside of later entry is that a lot of the kinks have been ironed out. I can't say enough how glad I am to see that their box doesn't come at the cost of losing features such as Dolby Vision, HDR, CEC, or ARC. And it's a breath of fresh air to see Gobi bringing something new to the table after many years of much of the same. Though even with the later entry, there's still a couple of limitations here that are still present, which we'll get into. But overall, I think that the AI in-game learning technology has a lot of potential, though at the moment, only four game titles are currently supported. However, as previously mentioned, Gobi is planning to expand that library to 15 games by the end of the year. And they also say that the AI technology will be supported over the next couple of years, which is inspiring knowing that they are committed to the new technology. That said, I think it's going to be up to Gobi to continue to expand and evolve the AI technology beyond simply the addition of game titles, because I have a feeling that the market for HDMI sync boxes is going to become even more saturated in 2023 in the year to follow. However, even as that market grows, for the vast majority of competing brands, an established ecosystem and continual product support will most likely be lacking. Nanoleaf is still a worthy mention here, but it utilizes PC screen mirroring software rather than a sync box, which comes along with its own set of obstacles and limitations, such as DRM restrictions and PC casting requirements whenever you're away from your desk. So as it stands now, there are but two primary providers that offer sync boxes along with their own comprehensive surround lighting ecosystem, Philips Hue and Gobi, one of which, frankly, has a much lower entry price point. For $299 or less, you'll get an all-inclusive HDMI color seeking light kit with the addition of the cutting edge AI technology that Philips nor any other brand in the space is currently leveraging. You'll get the backlight, a pair of 16 inch light bars, two 4K HDMI cables, and the four port AI sync box itself. The cost of this kit is nearly the same price as the Philips Hue sync box alone, excluding the light bars and light strips to get you up and running. And as with Philips Hue, the Govi ecosystem is already primed and ready if you have a handful of products lying around already. And it has the ability to sync a max of 10 separately sold products, not including the kit light bars or light strips themselves. So you can go as over the top or as subtle with your entertainment space as you please. And as I mentioned during the specs, we'll be seeing an HDMI sync box kit designed specifically for TVs 55 to 65 and 75 to 85 as well. Though I'll level with you, we honestly may be a little ways out before those models finally drop. Now I can't share a whole lot more details beyond that unfortunately, but I can say that there are some very exciting features coming up ahead for the TV design models as well. But in the meantime, do keep in mind, I installed this kit recommended for displays between 27 and 34 inches on a 49 inch super ultra wide monitor. 
You could even use a second longer length light strip and set the zones accordingly for better coverage for larger displays as I've done in the past. However, at the end of the day, the biggest hurdle for the AI sync box is that at a 4K resolution, the device is going to cap at 60 Hertz and 60 FPS, which I have been very, very vocal and adamant about with Govi. And they understand that gamers want 4K 120 for the new generation of gaming. I'll leave it at that. Now, in addition to the 4K 60 limitation, Another feature that I honestly assume will be a given is actually not currently supported at the moment, VRR. Unfortunately, variable refresh rate has to remain locked whenever that signal is being passed to the AI sync box. For Spider-Man on PS5, I was able to hit 4K locked at 60 and 1080p locked at 120. Also, while we're getting into the drawbacks, as with any sync box product, the system is simply not going to work with smart TV streaming apps. You'll have to use a dedicated streaming box, such as a Fire Cube or Roku, in order to pass the signal through. This continues to be a major advantage for Gobi's external camera capture technology. Any and every video source at any resolution and refresh rate combination will be uninhibited, but you're going to incur more latency and more inaccuracies, both as a result of the lens color translation and other external light sources. Those issues are virtually non-existent for the sync box. Color accuracy isn't 100% perfect, but the new kit is most certainly in the 90 percentile where accuracy is concerned. And it's just a beautiful thing to watch. CGI content, animations, and just good old fashioned films and TV shows. The sync box flat out knocks it out of the park. If you've been following the channel for some time now, you'll know that I love to use this specific scene to test Gobi Light Kit models in order to see how they fare with skin tones, an area that has traditionally been the most challenging for the camera color sense technology. At a glance, you can see that the sync box is the unquestionable winner. And while the camera science continues to impress and improve with each new iteration, it's safe to say that it still has a long way to go to catch up to the sync box. But it's certainly understandable there's just so many variables and obstacles to overcome for an external based system. But that's okay, because the camera can support technical features that the box cannot. Pros and cons guys, pros and cons. Before I wrap things up, there's one other area that I have to mention so you guys aren't caught off guard, which is that in the video color matching settings, the bar segment option doesn't currently function 100% correctly for Linux based devices such as the Steam Deck. This problem doesn't exist whatsoever for Windows OS, the PS5, Nintendo Switch, or the Xbox Series X. So be mindful if you're predominantly docking the Steam Deck to your monitor. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. Before you jet, let me know what you think about the Gobi AI HDMI sync box. And when it comes to color syncing technology and surround lighting in general, what features and capabilities are most important to you? Also, let me know what you think about the new Neon RGBIC desk light. And if you have any follow-ups, make sure to drop them down below. As always, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.